Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of our Stone Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 challenge video. In fact, it is the last challenge video, and it is herbalist number 10. I'm only doing four meats. Two of them are hard meats to find. That didn't sound good, but the other two you can just buy from a butcher. Or you can hunt um, animals that are widely available, such as pigs, bison, cows, etc. The two that are the hardest to find are the exotic bird and the crustacean. And I'm going to show you how to get both of them and then hopefully finish out this challenge and get the gambler set or not the gambler set the herbalist set and the best of the east or legends of the east uh clothing so let's get on with this the exotic bird meat is actually very easy to get you just follow from copperhead landing south the railroad tracks towards saint denis and there's a little area where you will usually find a pelican, and you just shoot the pelican, and you have your exotic bird meat. I'll show you on the map here, the location is right here, this little spit of land. And it's just south of Copperhead Landing. And you, like I said, you just ride south and on the railroad tracks. And usually there's a pelican there for you to shoot. And once you kill the pelican, you get the exotic bird meat. The crustacean meat is the next hardest to get. And what you can do is, after you've killed the exotic bird, camp and fast travel the roads. And I'm going to skip over certain things. And once we get to roads, I'll explain. Or once we get to where the crustaceans are, I'm going to explain. Once you get to roads, you want to head to the west and toward the lake and I'll show you on the map here once I get situated right here kind of near where you catch the legendary bluegill and before you do this what you want to do is you want to give your horse um, stamina tonic and you want to juice your horse up because now you're going to have to swim across to an island and John can't swim. If your horse loses stamina and dies or decides to throw John, he's dead and not a good thing. And you just gently swim over to the island. Don't push your horse. Just swim. And you won't be able to juice your horse up again. But once you get to this island, you can hunt a crustacean. Once you get to this island, you want to arm yourself with a varmint rifle. Real easy. And you can use your vision power to search for crustaceans. Um, if you see them on the beach, you can shoot them. But one of the things you want to do is actually go across the island to the opposite side where you'll find, more likely find crustaceans. Oh, and there's some wild mint, which is really good for flavoring your meat that you're going to want to pick up because all you have to do is make all of the various meats minty and that counts as flavoring it and then cook it and you're all good. So right over here you'll find crustaceans.
Okay, I'm going to show you on the map here. Right here, the island is right across from where you uh, catch the legendary bluegill. You can see it right here from Rhodes, west of Rhodes. And it's in the lake. There's also, um, you can get uh, iguanas and stuff on this island too. But this is where you get the crustacean. You pick up the crab carcass, so you want to just kind of break it down rather than just leave it as a carcass. And I'm going to see here, a uh, good sparrow. I'm just break everything down that I don't need for any reason. And yeah, I thought I saw a cardinal, but um, nah, I'm just going to get back to the horse. And this is the thing. You don't need to swim your horse back. All you're going to want to do is, once you get on your horse, you camp. And there's a reason you should just camp. And again, grab some wild mint. But once you get back on your horse, just camp. And what will happen is the game will put you back on the mainland. Okay, Missy. Like I said, now you're camping and you're back on the mainland, right by where you catch the legendary bluegill. And since we're camping, we might as well just cook our meat. Flavor it, yummy, delicious. Once I did this, I realized I screwed up. I only had one piece of beef that I bought from a butcher, as well as one piece of pork. I thought I was going to just do this all in one shot. Nah, I screwed it up. So I got to go either A, buy a piece of beef, or go kill something that it has beef. And I would rather go hunt something that has beef. You're a good filly. I could have probably went to a butcher and bought beef or just killed a cow, but not. Nope, I'm here. I want to hunt a bison and get a perfect bison pelt for my efforts. And then finish out the challenge. I'm going to scope this out and take down a nice bison. There we go.
five prime beef joint and a perfect bison hide. Once I get back to my horse, I can camp and finish out the herbalist challenge. I have completed all challenges and unlocked the Legends of the East outfit. Yep, Herbalist 10 complete. I am done. This was not an easy thing to do, complete all the challenges. But now that I have them done and I've flavored and cooked all the meats, I'm going to go to San Dani and get the wardrobe I richly deserve. And I'm saving here as well. First, a quick stop at the Trapper and pick up the Herbalist gear. Reinforced equipment. Got them all except for Herbalist here. The Bandolier. Now I'm going to activate the Gun Belt, the Holster, and the Offhand Holster. Now you have a complete equipment set that brings you up to 100% stamina and whatever else you need. Dead eye increase by obtaining full sets of reinforced equipment. You have permanently increased your dead eye by one bar, by one tank. And I am done. Now let's go put on the Legends of the East outfit. Come on, lady. Actually, turn around, go back, because I got to sell that uh, bison pelt. Forgot about that. So, nah, not a big deal. Extra $6.25. Love it. Prices are so awesomely high for a perfect bison hide. Now, let's go put on Legends of the East suit. A lot of work to get this, and yeah, it will, I guess, be worth it because I really am trying to figure this out. Got it. Legend of the East. This outfit is suitable for all temperatures, so I really don't need any more outfits. That's it. John's just going to wear the clothing. He's going to sleep, and then move on in life. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video interesting and informative, please hit the thumbs up. Don't feel, or feel free to leave some comments. And if you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon because I post four video game related videos a week plus some shorts and specials and you don't want to miss out as always thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and thanks for stopping by